What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone this is tutorial 92 and today's topic will be how to extract important or meaningful information from any PDF or multi-page PDF using Langchain and GPT-4 Omni model. When I say uh, important or meaningful information let me ex explain you what exactly you want to do here right. So if I go here and I have a PDF here see like this so employee information and if you see here the employee informations are actually in this format like so our objective is actually to extract the information for every employee and uh, we have to create a JSON right in a dictionary so that we can actually uh, import that or load that into a uh, database like whether it's going to be a, a structured database or anything like sorry SQL database or no SQL database if you are having JSON or something that will be very very easier right because this pdf you cannot directly import into uh, any database like so that is why this sort of pre-processing or data loadings are important but again um, with the help of uh, artificial intelligence or with the help of llm you don't have to write multiple uh, like complex code like suppose you want to actually do this thing in java or plain python maybe you have to actually lot of ocr and other related stuff right but if you are using uh, uh, Langchain and GPT-4 model, maybe you have to just write a template and remaining the OCR and other capabilities will be handled by the uh, large language model because these models are actually uh, intelligent enough for handling those things. And even if you are, if we are using GPT-4 Omni model, it is actually a multimodal, so internally it will handle everything, right? You have to just uh, give them the prompt and it will do it, right? So. That is our objective we have to actually create a json for every employee so right now we have 100 pages with 100 employees so let's see how to actually do it right and also i have created a prompt so if you see you are you are an intelligent bot who can analyze any text with employee information and this is our input variable your job is to read and analyze the information and create a json diction dictionary dictionary has the following key output must be json nothing else right so that is our objective so let's see first thing from Langchain uh, community dot uh, document loaders we have to import uh, pi I believe pi pdf loader right then from Langchain uh, open ai import import chat open ai right so first thing let's uh, llm chat open ai okay and the model will be like this gpt4 omni model right and then what we will do we will be going to just create a loader 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 equals to pi pdf loader right and like this and there i'll be just going to okay so i will be raw text and i have to actually pass the path so this is our path so copy path like this okay and docs equals to uh, loader dot load right so this and after that so let's say for uh, doc in docs right and print doc dot page content right so let's see whether i'm able to actually get every information or not like for every employee okay so let's see yeah every import information is coming for the employee see employee information okay so this is cool right okay so now what we'll do we'll do the remaining task so we have to actually require a prompt so from line chain dot prompts import from template right then from line chain dot chains import llm llm chain right okay so let's create an llm chain here so it is llm chain right and here maybe llm equals to llm and prompt entity so I think we have a prompt here. So LLM, so basically uh, uh, this LLM must be having two things like prompt and prompt template. 
so let's see uh, how to actually do that okay okay so basically prompt uh, prom et equals to i need a prompt so right so before i do the prompt what will be going to do will be going to create a template okay right and there i'll be going to pass this thing right okay okay and after that i'll be going to create something called prompt right prompt will be what prompt will be prompt template right inside that i'll be just going to write our template equals to template right and there should be an input variable right input variables is going to be this one right okay doc underscore text right so uh, guys uh, just give me one moment i'm just getting a call i'll be just going to come back in two minutes okay okay sorry guys so i got a call from uh, amazon delivery executive so i i am actually expecting some parcels so they call me right so prompt okay right so basically what is happening here in this prompt i have this input variable so i just uh, added this thing here our llm chain is ready and everything is done right so now what we will do is we'll going to create response response is actually going to be llm chain okay dot invoke okay right and inside that i'll be going to pass this doc underscore text right and then i'll be going to uh, like pass this thing here right so what i'll do control x and it will be something like this right so like this write this and here it will be doc dot page content right so every element will be parsed and after that we will be just going to write print print response okay and then text all done so let's see now what will happen for every information uh, every employee page uh, in from this pdf i'll be going to get a json so let's see okay so unsupported okay so basically yeah okay so it should be equals to i did a mistake here right so it is done so let's see again something is done so missing keys doc text so it is saying some missing keys are not there so yeah that spelling is wrong doc text right so let's see how it is going to happen okay yeah yeah so i got this thing okay so basically if you see some extra information is coming that is not a json so what i'll do i'll just going to stop this thing here okay i have to stop it here i don't know why it is not getting stopped okay so basically i need to replace this and i need to replace this so basically what i'll do i need to replace this text and json so what i'll do uh, we'll be going to create something called data equals to data equals to this right and then data equals to data dot replace okay and there i'll be just going to write json equals to this right and then data dot data equals to data data equals to data dot replace okay is going to be this and then this ticks okay just hold on i need to write the ticks here right and there should be nothing and after that i have to actually convert that into a json dumps so basically data equals to json dot dumps okay dm use dumps and you have to actually data and you have to import the json import json so this is done right so now what will happen we'll be going to create something called print data now let's see whether i'm getting the proper formatted json or not okay so it started okay so it started let's see okay so i am getting this thing okay so it is coming as a dictionary so basically it should be json dot loads maybe i don't know 
that is coming like this uh, yeah i did a mistake so it should be dictionary right okay yeah now i'm getting the json okay so let's stop it now here yeah. and now i'll be going to put this thing back into a uh, list right so basically uh, what will happen uh, you if you want to create a list that is fine but if you don't want to create a list you can uh, you can create a you can create a uh, even a pandas data frame out of it right so it's up to you whatever you want to actually create even you can create a csv file from that right so it doesn't matter for example uh, let's say i have a list here emp and i can just write this and after that your ultimate objective is actually emp dot append right and you have to just put the data back here right and at the end finally you have to print this thing right let's see right So something is happening obviously right at the end you will be able to see the list of course the list will be very big in size so you won't be able to actually see the list right Okay. so this is going to take some time at least five uh, not five minutes but at least this will take two minutes right Okay, so something is happening here, right? So let's see. Still, it is doing something. I don't know what it is doing. Yeah, basically, it is appending everything over here. So that is why it is taking a lot of time, right? This append. Okay, but don't worry. Things will be done shortly okay but this is very slow because of uh, python for loop right so i thought it will be done in two minutes but again it is going to take a lot of time okay so guys this thing's a basic concept there are a lot of advanced concepts are available i'm not including those things here because this is not a python tutorial okay but if you want to actually enhance or make this tutorial more efficient or effective you can do it but my ultimate objective is actually to show you guys how we can actually utilize the very very basic or fundamental feature of uh, features from langchain uh, document loader to extract any meaningful information from a pdf so only uh, important thing is actually you have to design your uh, like prompt template in such a way that it should give you the right answer so see it is generated here right everything is done here right cool right so uh, i believe uh, that is the end of tutorial and we have covered a lot of uh, like new things here like the pdf extraction or pdf feature extraction uh, using uh, langchain and gpt4 omni model right so with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here and we'll try to uh, like um, we'll try to upload some more meaningful and use case driven video in the next tutorial but before i conclude i would like to request on a couple of things so first thing guys uh, if you are existing uh, viewer please try to uh, but if you are not subscribed subscribe to our channel please try to subscribe to our channel and if you are a new viewer please try to watch our videos from the beginning of the playlist because this is a 90 second tutorial so you can imagine so that we have created more than 90 videos already so it is highly recommended that you should watch those videos right and uh, also try to share our videos with your family and friend try to put some 
comment uh, as well in the video and try to uh, like the videos as well because we are expecting more engagement from all of you guys from our videos because without your like engagement we won't uh, uh, we won't be able to reach the large number of audience and google will google or youtube algorithm won't like uh, promote or uh, like uh, uh, push our videos to the large number of audience because it is mandatory for the google algorithm to uh, picked your videos or discovered by the large number of audience you have to actually gain certain number of or amount of subscription or likes and comments right so guys please help me to grow because you you guys the you guys are the only support system for me at this moment and i promise i'll always come back with um, like uh, some meaningful and use case driven tutorial i don't cover only theory my tutorials are always something productive so if you have something on your mind where actually you want me to create videos or you have already started working you have something for some project id or use case here finally a project whatever just let us know i'll also try to create some videos on it right so with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning